and welcome to Sega News Bits. I'm Barry, and uh, I'm going to be talking about that Sonic movie. So there's some news that dropped that we didn't make videos of. Two that I wanted to mention was that there were photos of James Marsden filming in both casual wear, like street clothes, and also his uh, sheriff's uniform. And so his, it seems like if he's sticking with the name Tom the Cop or whatever they're going to do, his last name is Wachowski. So there you go, Matrix fans. And the other news is that Jim Carrey is confirmed to be playing Dr. Eggman or Robotnik, whatever the news outlets want to call it. And the big news that we're going to be talking about on this episode is that uh, they announced the voice of Sonic. And, you know, the voice of Sonic, Roger Craig Smith. Oh, wait, no, no, they're, um, they're going with Ben Schwartz. So if you follow us on Twitter, you can see some slightly angry tweets from uh, Sega Bits, which were written by myself. And I don't know, I mean, I like Ben Schwartz. I think he's a funny guy. I know he has done voice acting. He does voice acting. And I think Ben Schwartz... I don't know, maybe he'll do a good job in this train wreck of a movie. But my problem is that we have a voice of Sonic Roger Craig Smith. Now you might be saying, well, you know, Barry, this is the movie. They're going to go with different people. We had Sonic Boom, which was seen to be a completely different branch of the franchise, and yet they went with the voice actors that they had. And the great thing about the Sonic voice cast is that not only can they do video game characters really well, you know, like for cutscenes and the grunts and the groans and all those things, but they are actually legitimate actors. I mean, it's in their name, voice actors. They've done cartoons, anime, some of them have even done live action acting, and I think all of them did a fantastic job on Sonic Boom. You know, love or hate the idea behind it, or the setting, or the games, or the comics, or whatever, but the voice actors did a fantastic job on that show. And I was thinking with this movie that, yeah, okay, so if it's live action, you'd have to cast someone as Eggman. I was thinking maybe they'd have Mike Pollock like, do the voice, and an actor would do the, the acting, but Jim Carrey's going to be playing him. And I thought, well, Sonic's going to be CG, so maybe they'll go with the... I mean, it makes sense to go with Roger Craig Smith. He's the voice of Sonic. You want to have a brand that there's some consistency going on, which is what I thought they were doing with Sonic Boom. But here they go. Ben Schwartz um, is going to be playing Sonic. And maybe it's a good thing for Roger Craig Smith just because this movie's sounding worse and worse. I, I know some people want me and George, uh, when we talk about this movie, to be optimistic, but... I mean, from what we've seen, the movie's already playing out in my head, and it just sounds bad. It sounds like what shouldn't be a Sonic movie. It sounds like a Sonic movie if it were made in, like, 1992, where they didn't have much to go off of, and they weren't aware of all the stories that were going on in Japan with the games. From what we've seen, it's like there's a, an officer, and then there's a sign that says Green Hills with an S, then he... he you know, Sonic probably speeds, and the, the cop stops him, and they become friends, and then Eggman shows up and, you know, attacks the town, and Ben Schwartz is probably going to be Ben Schwartz as Sonic the Hedgehog. It just, it sounds really bad. I very much doubt we're going to see Tails, Knuckles, there's going to be no, you know, like, Angel Island. And as proven by the comic books, there's really good stories that you can tell from what's provided in the games. And when the seeds of the movie were being sowed and we were hearing about it, I was thinking, okay, you're going to do kind of like the Ratchet and Clank movie, but better, where you're going to be having an in-game universe story with all the islands and the biplanes and the floating ships and the floating islands and the emeralds, and you can have some new evil creature or whatever. That would be so awesome. Imagine that. But no, I don't think we're getting that. And I feel like every time we do one of these, I'm just going to get more and more depressed and more people will tell me, hey, Barry, it's going to be okay. But I don't know. So what do you guys think about this upcoming movie. Are you excited for all the cool decisions that they're making on it? Do you like that the CEO just like said, yeah, make him a juvenile delinquent. That that appeals to me. I don't care about the fans. Also, you can find us on Patreon if you want to support the site and more videos like this and more videos not like this because I'm not always in a bad mood. Thanks for watching and bye.